Hi, I'm Crystal and I want to go through the library books I got from the library yesterday. Uh, the 21st of September. Um, I've got them until the 12th of October, these books. I got the Sunday Times bestseller Amanda Holden. No holding back my story. A natural born performer, Amanda's journey to becoming one of the most recognisable figures on our screens today has been one of full of love, laughter and tears. Now a British star and nationally treasured actress, Amanda recounts a notoriously tricky world of show business and how she carved out her own identity. There's some lovely pictures in here as well. It's a nice book. Um, we have a book on insects. Um, in Fairfield Court, someone used to kindly leave spiders on top of the door and we had a great moth come into the flat and we have a fair few moths in this flat as well. Um, so I got this book mainly to look at the moths and we have some pretty moths here. That's a garden tiger moth, we have a ruby tiger, a heart and dart. Um, they're quite pretty. Hawk moths. Elephant hawk moths. So I've got that for the moths. Uh, this is a, a, a book called The Boys. Which is more of a cartoon type story book but I like to read those. I have Chris Ryan's Ultimate Survival Guide because when I'm by myself and you get no help from anybody you never know when you're going to be in a survival situation outside with no money and no food there's some interesting tips in here on making fire and shelter and lots of survival medicine um, to help with blood loss, bone and joint injuries and how to make an improvised traction splint using natural material. Um, it, it says the general equipment for first aid are plasters, antihistamines, antiseptic, sterile dressings and gauze, Vaseline burn gel, analgesics, malaria tablets and the first aid kit could also include clips, suturing needles and thread, anti-diarrhea pills and antibiotics although some people are allergic to penicillin and it says it's your mental attitude that's going to get you through when the chips are down it's quite true I have a book called Where Do You Turn If You Can't Trust Anyone? I Know How She Feels. Afraid by Amanda Sue Heller. Amanda Sue's Heller thrill Heller's thrilling novel is set on the gritty streets of Manchester where a teenager runs from a crisis to something that could be deadly when Skye's mother finally does something so shocking that it can't be hushed up. The police turn her over to the social workers and that's when the nightmare begins. No one will let her talk to her father. The woman who is supposed to be helping her dumps her in a terrifying home that's more like a jail. But she still has one friend to turn to, the sympathetic girl she's met in an internet chat room. The one who seems to have a home life as unhappy as Skye's and Jade offers her a safe place to stay. Alone in Manchester, nearly penniless, Skye is willing to trust Jade, even when it isn't Jade who turns up at the rendezvous, but a grown-up man who says he's Jade's brother. Also, when you're alone on your lot of your time like I am, um, especially in the evenings when it gets incredibly boring and monotonous and actually unhealthy, I've got a couple of books, one is the card games bible and one is on magic tricks so they should keep me going until the 12th of October